Hiring Hoosiers is RTV 6s commitment to exploring the labor market in Indiana, examining workplace trends, and watching the direction companies are moving. This evening, we're zeroing in on veterans on this Veterans Day, the challenges, the perks, and the advantages their military experience brings to the table. Tonight, a look at the transition from active duty to civilian workplace. Deirdre Simons is networking, listening, asking questions, moving from table to table, meeting reps at this job fair from a number of companies aiming to onboard veterans as employees. The number one reason is to find a job, um, meet new people, see what's out there, see what you actually qualify for. Working 12 hours on, 12 hours off on a ship in the Navy as an administrative technician, Deirdre knows how to put in a hard day's work. We did whatever needed to be done to get the job done. Now in the civilian world, the Navy vet is navigating the challenges and the potential promises of landing a job. There's a few other ones I'm not qualified for, but um, it's great to have that contact and um, they have my resume, so if anything does come up, you know, they'll reach out, hopefully, so. Having the interview skills is definitely something that you have to work on. I think it's down to a science interview skills, so that's probably been my biggest challenge. Several companies recruiting at the American Legion Military Hiring Fair have employed veterans and recognized the discipline and efficiency they can bring to the civilian workforce. I know how to probably better translate or better understand some of their uh, items that they have on their resume, um, and I know how to relate with them, so I know where I could put them where they're most beneficial uh, to both the company and obviously how we could be uh, benefiting to them. Jason Carando was recently promoted to market manager for Comcast, but he used to build explosives in the Air Force. He values his company's efforts to include those who have served in the armed forces, offering programs geared specifically toward fostering veteran mentorships in the workplace. Kind of gives us a, a channel to have those conversations amongst our veterans and it really builds that camaraderie and, and I think that we, we go to great lengths to, to care for our veteran employees. Deirdre has touched base with Comcast and she's got a couple of other good leads including a possible position with the American Legion itself which hosted the job fair. She's hoping one of these opportunities serve as a win-win and a long-term fit. My biggest challenge is just taking the job and doing it because that's what I've done in the military or really waiting out until um, I find something that I'm so excited about. Working for you in downtown Indianapolis, Mark Mullins, RTV6. Well, Deirdre told us about a resource which really helped with building her resume and developing her interview skills, and it's geared toward people who have served in the military. It's called Operation Job Ready Veteran. If you are a vet or you know someone who could benefit from this, we provided a link to that organization. Just click on this story at HiringHoosiers.com.